Hey guys, this is part 3 of my series Alternative Tools to Popular Linux Commands and in this video we are going to explore the htop command. Now htop command is a perfect alternative to the top command which displays real-time system information including running processes, active users, as well as resource utilization such as CPU and memory utilization, okay? Now, top command is a native tool to Linux and just like we've mentioned, it displays real-time system information. So, to, do, to run the top command, simply open the terminal and run top and hit enter. So like we've said, it displays real-time system information. So at the top section here, you can see all the system information. So for example, you can see the uptime information here, okay? So you can see the system has been up for roughly 22 minutes. You can see the logged in user. You can see statistics about the load average. You can see the tasks running, okay? You can also see the CPU and memory utilization as well as swap usage. So down here below, you can see information about uh, the system processes, okay? Now you can present this information in a better and more interactive way using the htop command. Okay, so to demonstrate this, I'm going to open a new tab over here. Okay, so when I run the htop command and hit enter, you can see that htop does not come uh, pre-installed on Linux. Okay, so here I'm running Ubuntu uh, 24.04 and here you can see some suggestions on how to install htop. So you can install it uh, from snap or using the apt package manager. So I can choose whichever way I want to install it but here I'm going to use the apt package manager okay so to install htop I'm going to run sudo apt install htop and hit enter then I'm going to authenticate using my password and hit enter so this will install htop as you can see and this is an operation that is only going to take about a minute or so so just be patient as the installation proceeds and there you go so htop has successfully been installed all right now let's run htop and compare it to the top command so to do so i'm simply going to run htop without any command line arguments and hit enter and this is what you get okay so now you can see the upper section here presents the system information in a more better format okay so as you can see here i have two cpu calls you can see the memory utilization in a better format so you can see here i'm using 1.55 gigabytes out of a total of 5.66 gigabytes so for swap usage uh, I haven't yet started using swap as yet. So over here to the right, to the top right section here, you can see the number of tasks. You can see the load average as well as, well as the uptime in real time. Okay. So down here below, you can see information about system processes such as the PID, the user, and so on and so forth. So when you compare this with the top command, I'm sure you can see that htop is a comparatively better way of representing real-time system information as opposed to the top command okay so apart from just running without command line options you can choose to filter the output so for example you can view processes of a specific user so for example to view processes of a user called james you can pass the hyphen new option then provide the username so this will present all the processes that are run by the user James as you can see here okay so to quit just press Q to return to the terminal so let's say you want to see the processes of a user called MySQL so I already have MySQL server running so these are the processes that are owned by the user called MySQL okay all right so that's about it for the htop command and as you can see it's quite a better way of representing system information okay and for more command line options you can simply run man htop and hit enter so this is going to give you all the information you need about 
htop so here you can see all the command line options you can use with the htop command okay so as you can see here we have already used the hyphen new uh, flag and passed the username to show the processes of a given user you can also pass the hyphen p option and provide the pid okay and so on and so forth okay so that's it about this lecture so in this lecture we have looked at htop command which is a great alternative to the traditional top command so that's it for this lecture see you in the next video